and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your general weekly tarot reading for your zodiac sign, Virgo. Now, Virgo, I also do your weekly you versus them tarot reading, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, Virgo, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Virgo, it's a man reading some tarot says to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, Virgo, and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever on that note we're real quick i do feel inclined to just give you two different animal oracle cards so we're just spoiling don't tell the other zodiac signs honey because i didn't do that for any of the other ones yet so um <laughs> Uh, Virgo, where was I in my usual spiel? When it comes to any of my tarot readings, Virgo, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Virgo. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Virgo, I'd really appreciate it for you to take the extra time to, um, uh, let me know in the comments below how these red cards resonate with you because that's how I keep up with y'all. And then also I would like to ask for you to give me a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this reading because it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. And then finally, Virgo, before we get into this tarot reading, I just want to say any of my tarot readings, and really, in my personal opinion, any tarot reading in general, shouldn't be making a decision in your life. It should be giving you a perspective, something for you to consider in your life, and some food for thought to think about, right? Um, I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, and this is just some tarot cards, right? So with all that being said, Virgo, let's get into this reading for you. So I talk about those animal spirit cards, right? Let me just show them both to you. So, we have two different ones for you, uh, which means I'll just show both numerologies as well. So look at both of these numbers. Number 15, the cow spirit equaling to six for numerology, Virgo. And the cow spirit says the miracles are endless. So this is a beautiful card to have because this is kind of like foreshadowing um, blessings to come, right? This is letting you know that this week... Um, if you feel like you know the story, Virgo, you probably don't when it comes to this t uh, cow spirit. It lets, lets me know of an individual who probably has like a game plan or being like, okay, this is going to pan out in this way, da 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 And that cow spirit there is kind of just like a, it's kind of like the moon card and the sun card put together in the lake. In the sense that like the sun, obviously, I guess that would be a considered a, an eclipse, Velka. But um, <laughs> like with the sun, the sun... Um, brings forth like that abundance those miracles really it is like the miracle card and then the moon card comes in where it's just kind of like the unknown so that's what i get when i hold the cow spear i just see both the moon and the sun in this so beautiful powerful card to have with that and just remember my beautiful virgo number six i keep on looking at this cow spirit and i just keep thinking i call i've called you guys taurus uh virgo <laughs> So if you notice me just kind of like hesitating, like it's me thinking back, being like, wait, did I call Virgo Taurus? Um, <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, and then we have the Koala Spirit equaling number 35, equaling to eight for numerology. Uh, I almost called you Taurus now, Virgo. But Koala Spirit says uh, Spirit has a plan. So really, really beautiful for these two cards to come together together. Uh, Virgo, just because of the fact that every single time I'm looking at this cow spear, I'm just like Taurus. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Virgo. I'm so distracted um, <laughs> with that. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, beautiful in the sense that it's like the uh, spirit has a plan for you, Taurus, um, and the miracles are endless because of that. So really, I'm really honing in again on like the moon card and the sun card being together in this pairing because it's just like um in this sense this would be like the sun card i guess the cow spirit and then the moon card would be the koala spirit where it's just like you don't know what's going on honey you don't know the full plan of what it is that spirit has for you my virgo um there's more going on than you're aware of and they have a plan for how things are going to pan out virgo so definitely a beautiful powerful beautiful pairing of oracle cards right off the bat for your general energy um Taurus, or there we go. I finally said Taurus, so now we can go move along from that, my Virgo, and we can finally let me actually just like put these cards down so I stop looking at the cow. <laughs> um, yeah, Virgo. 
And so let's get into the tarot side of this now for your overall general messages. We have in your in your uh, nature, of course, my Virgo, we have uh, a lot of earth energy in here with the pentacles. We have knight of pentacles with the seven of pentacles, along with the uh, knave of cups. So the knave of cups is actually a card of, um, it's the the Nava Cups is like the Page of Cups in normal tarot. And just get it out, Valka. Um, so we'll call this the uh, Page of Cups just for simplicity's sake. So when you have this dynamic, uh, Virgo, it's almost like there's just like this push, uh, Virgo. I don't know if some of you Virgos have been waning in your willpower almost when it comes to persevering or having a sense of persistence when it comes to some aspect of your life. Um, but you're being pushed to continue on because with this Knight of Coins, this is what I see you as, is this Knight of Pentacles, um, Virgo. This is a card of where you're really going out into uncharted territories. This is a card of um, really pushing your boundaries almost. This is a little bit of a in regards to most of the knights and the suits, the Knight of Pentacles is a slower energy, um, Virgo, in the sense that like it's paced, it's paced progression rather than it being sudden progression. Does that make sense? So especially paired with the Seven of Pentacles, this is definitely like a have patience. This is definitely, yeah, the have patience, uh, Virgo, um, continue uh, tending to your seven of pentacles, continue tending to your crops. I really just get this sense, um, Virgo, where it's just like the sense of, um, fatigueness I feel like you're experiencing because I feel like with this knight of pentacles, you've been in this journey for a while, uh, Virgo, where it is you, you know, maybe you took like a chance on like a situation or like a job, right? And you've just been like really like, putting all your eggs in that basket and being like, okay, like hope at some point this new job is going to pay out, right? As when I, if I keep watering these crops, if I keep watering these pentacles, it's going to give bring forth a beautiful harvest at some point by logic, right? And I do feel that way um, because it is all in the name of the Page of Cups, the Knave of Cups, Virgo. It is all in the name of a new beginning because that is what Pages represents is a new beginning. Now with the cups, I know I use the example of work, but, you know, this could be in the situation when it comes to a person as well, Virgo. Maybe you really put, you've wanted to, like, you've been, uh, you know, I guess, how do I even word this, my Virgo? This would kind of be like, if you had your eyes on somebody and you just have been waiting for them to, like, warm up to you, perhaps. Um, and you've just been trying to, like, get their trust, build the, this trust when it comes to this person. Or really, like, learning about another person, I guess. If you've been feeling like it's all for nothing... Regardless of what it is, I get the sense to just continue pushing along a little bit more. Um, because, you know, again, spirit has a plan and the miracles are coming. And right when it comes to any miracles, a miracle is considered a miracle rather than just luck um, or hard work. In the sense that, like, it's one of those things that, like, comes forward to you that seems almost surreal, seems almost impossible. And, like, how everything just seemed to line up so perfectly that things gave you that payout, like something gave you that payout, right? That miracle coming forward in the first place. Um, I just get this, I keep hearing like persevering, persevering Virgo. Um, so really just push through this. I feel like, like, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you guys are in the final stretch and I can't help but feel like I even said that for one of your other readings, Virgo, that you're like in the final, it may have been your ancestral, uh, not your ancestral, your spirit guide reading that I said that for, but, um, just push through a little bit more Virgo. I really just get this sense of like, I know you're fatigued right now, honey, but like, is something you have something good coming for you i promise you that so enough of that my beautiful virgo now let's get into the actual tarot side of things with the rose um so how this works with my general readings virgo i always like to do a row for my virgos that are interested in their wealth in their career their finances and anything in regards to all that right and then I like to do a row just for my Virgos that are interested into their social situation, right? And when I say social situation, Virgo, this could be platonic, this could be romantic, this could be a business thing. It could reflect off of your work as well, of course, right? Um, but yeah, it's just overall social situations, right? And then your last row is just like some final thoughts, some final cards just to wrap up the reading and to like fine tune any messages that we had overall in this. So... Yeah, let's just get into this now, Virgo. I pulled your starting cards already for your career. 
and finances, Virgo, and you have the King of Cups, the Eight of Cups, as well as the Hierophant. Now, honey, this is really powerful stuff here, and I'll tell you why. Because this is who you are in this energy when it comes to your career right now, Virgo. This is you as the King of Cups who is in control of their emotions. They are really thinking things through. They're not allowing emotions to um, dictate the choices for them. Now, that's not meaning, Virgo, that you're not, your emotions aren't involved in the decision-making process. It just lets me know that you're not just going to react. You're keeping, like, your emotions and how you're feeling about the situation is really important. And if you're feeling fulfilled in your job situation. Um, so it's based off of that, but it's not, um, it's not erratic. It's not, um, you, Virgo, being like in the sense of urgency or like something happening that causes you to just like freak out. You're in control of yourself. You're keeping a level head. Um, Eight of Cups and the Hierophant. This is where I'm saying it's powerful stuff, uh, Virgo, because it's like, when it comes to your career, it's almost like my Virgos that are like, you're, some of y'all are really debating on taking a big step into something. Really calling forth a big change in your life because like with this Hierophant, I always say the Hierophant is like getting in tune with your higher self, where it's just like, it may not make sense to anybody else, but you know for, you know what's best for you, right? And so that's what the King of Cups is also the representation of, is knowing what's best for you. The Hierophant also talks about like, um, commitment, like higher commitment as well. So, but this is, it's almost like you're going to a different place for higher commitment, Virgo. I get this sense that, especially with this Eight of Cups, you're going to bigger and better waters, and that's why I say it's so beautiful when it's paired with that Hierophant and the King of Cups, because it's like, you're in touch with your emotions, you're really in control, like, you know what it is that you're, you have a plan, Virgo. Like, I, I said it even earlier, it's like, you have a plan, like, for how things are going to pan out, and you're honoring that, you know? So it's just like, for this Eight of Waters, you know, your situation may be good right now, but Virgo, there's something inside of you being like, oh, like, is this completely fulfilling me, right? It may take care of your financial situation right now, but how is it taking care of your emotional fulfillment when it comes to this situation, right? So it's almost like you got in touch with your higher self and you're just like, okay, like, you need, you're getting this, it's almost like my Virgo is getting like a pulling or a calling towards, um, transitioning of like moving on to something else to a different commitment and like signing a contract with some some new company or something um but let's continue pulling some clarifiers the ace of cups came flying forward for you so really really beautiful uh virgo definitely this is just a situation and when it's under your king of cups it's just really reaffirming the messages from before virgo of you're just going with what is and what, how you're feeling so truly virgo for my virgos that aren't sure what's because i feel like a lot of you guys are up with a decision being like do i put more energy into this or do i go out into doing something else i'm really getting the sense virgo that you should go out and do something like not go out like do with whatever is like filling your heart up more right with this ace of cups like this is what's like the most important factor for you now the other clarifiers i pulled for you we'll do three okay yeah we have ten of wands we have the uh, knight of swords and then we have the four of wands <sighs> honey so We'll address this Four of Wands first, my Virgo. This Four of Wands is a card where it's like, it's already in the bag, right? If you were to, like this Eight of Cups, like you're going to bigger and better waters, you may not see this Four of Wands now, but you're heading towards the distance to this Four of Wands. Does that analogy make sense? I hope it does, um, Virgo, where it's just like, you're leaving this water, your current situation, to go out into the seemingly unknown, but you end up finding the Four of Wands, that 1111 portal, that wish fulfillment, right? Um, but there's some hesitation here, right? The Ten of Wands, the Knight of Swords is that baggage where it's just like, you probably, there's like definitely some unsureness where it's like, even though you have tapped into your higher self a little bit, Virgo, there is this level of doubt. There is this level of, um, like you're wanting to do it, but like, then there would just be other days where you just kind of like wishy-washy about it and be like, oh, I'm not sure anymore, right? You kind of start talking yourself out of it. Or you're wanting to do this, but you have too many loose ends that's like weighing you down, um, Virgo. So definitely something to look into with that. Um, but I definitely see some type of like, for my Virgos that are interested in transitioning, I definitely see it being a beautiful payout. So I like that a lot. So Virgo enough enough of that row of my of your career and wealth 
finances and all that, let's now get into my Virgos social situations for my Virgos that are interested in hearing um, the tarot cards perspective on what's going on this week for their social. Now again, romantic, platonic, business, what have you, it's up to you to put that, um, associate it with what it is, right? But the cards we pulled for you, okay, uh, we have the death card coming in for you, as well as the queen of swords and the star card, honey. So my, some of you Virgos probably caught my like muttering to myself at first when I saw the death card. Um, funnily enough, and I guess it's not funny for this is your life, <laughs> Virgo, right? Um, it's kind of reflecting in the sense like, not only are you going through like a transition when it comes to your work, I get the fact that you, I mean, obviously with this death rebirth card, there's definitely some type of transition in your social situation as well, because like, in order for you to get to your star moment and to like whatever, like there's some type of relationship in your life that you're wanting to, um, I don't get that you're wanting to take something deeper with some specific person. Virgo, I get this sense that you're wanting just some depth in general. There's something that you want out of a relationship that you're just not getting, right? And it's just a generalized thing, not like just people in your life aren't providing that for you. So whether that's romance or whether that's like, um, like, you know, even like a good business connection, right? Or whether it's just like a deep, like having just like a, per like your person, like having a best friend of some sort, you're craving that and it's not being provided to you right now, Virgo. And there is this sense of just transition. There is this sense of um, transitioning on from... Like with this Queen of Swords, I always see the Queen of Swords coming in where it's like needing to set boundaries. So... And especially if she's an individual that will take action when she feels wronged. And so with this death card coming in as well, it does feel like the sense of where you're in this process of just cutting things and cutting people out that um, aren't providing that star thing for you. Now, I'm going to be pulling some clarifiers um, right now, Virgo, just because this is definitely... It's interesting in that it's like a storyline of someone of a Virgo being like, you're not treating me right. This is not what I want out of a connection. And you're being like, you're throwing, like, you're not even giving them an option. You're just kind of being like, we're done. Like, you'd rather just be by yourself. And I'm not getting that being like a bad thing because it's all under the umbrella of like having your wish fulfillment. So let's look at some clarifiers. Yeah, honey. <laughs> oh, Virgo, I do not envy you guys. You guys are definitely going through some drama. Um, so we have the Hierophant coming in here again, um, following you. You're really in tap with your higher self. This is connected to your star card. So again, this does seem to be like this realization of like wanting just more and wanting things that actually fulfill you. The judgment card comes in with the death and rebirth card. Now there is this sense or call to action, Virgo. There is this sense of where it's like some action needs to be taken. And I feel like you might even have like a little bit of resistance still, Virgo, where it's just like you're not sure if you want to close off this cycle. Because the death card, I mean, the death and rebirth card, that is like a big decision being made of just closing something out, right? And then with this Queen of Swords being clarified by the Five of Wands, honey. Now, this is where I'm like, kind of like, I am giggling to myself because it's like, this is, I mean, Five of Wands is the conflict card. This is a card where it's just like, you just don't want to deal with the conflict. You don't want to deal with competing goals where people are just like trying to make things work when they just, you know, trying to make oil and water mix together when it's just not going to happen, right? Um, I get the sense, Virgo that you you're just raising your standards and i don't see that as a bad thing you're raising your standards in the level of like how you're going to be treated how people are going to treat you and you're not accepting accepting anything less which i don't think that's a bad thing at all virgo i see that to be a very beautiful thing to celebrate so let's get some final thoughts now through t your tarot reading cards tarot reading cards i said that so weird let's get some final tarot like tarot card thoughts about your reading overall <laughs> still worded that weird um let's see here before we close out your reading so we have the judgment card again a lot of cards following you uh virgo judgment card four of pentacles with the two of wands and the six of wands so 
This is beautiful though. Ah, I like this a lot. So how do we break this down, Virgo? This is a situation where, again, through some type of action, there is a call to action, Virgo. You are being asked to um, be a little bit more proactive this week in all aspects of your life. Um, because it's almost like through you taking action, two of wands, four of pentacles comes in for you where it's just like... <sighs> It's like, I can't help but feel, Virgo, that you are going, you're, this week you're probably going to be in this transitional, like this period of where you're going to be by yourself and not really that allowing too many energies outside of you around this week because you're just thinking about the bigger picture being like, what's the next step for me? Um, and this four of pentacles is just like you're wanting, you're waiting it out of like deciding where you want to invest your energies into, where you want to put your pentacles into. Six of wands, I just feel like, I just get this sense of there's just, I mean, this is the victory card. Like there is victory through you taking action, Virgo. And I f can't help but feel like that action has you left with clearing things out, clearing people out, closing cycles out, because I just get the sense that... Um, your standards are just being raised. And I just, I enjoy that a lot. So yeah, my beautiful Virgo, it's the reading that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know which cards called out to you the most and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then be sure to share my videos with the friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, Virgo, I just want to say one more time, thank you so much for this opportunity. I love you so much. Bye.